The NFL delivered and gave us a Halloween weekend full of tricks and treats. We're a couple days away from the trade deadline and getting ready to hit that midseason turn, which makes this the perfect time for some Week 8 overreactions. This was the first time in eight years that the Broncos have beaten the Chiefs. Eight years. Blame it on Patrick Mahomes playing with the flu or on Taylor Swift not being there, but whatever it was, we have to give credit where credit is due. Not only did Russ play an amazing game, but Denver's D dominated, intercepting Mahomes twice and holding them to 0-3 in the red zone. Despite the shocking upset, we can't deny the fact that the Chiefs are still nothing less than the Super Bowl contenders. Now, if they lose next week to Miami, then maybe we can talk. NFL fans, it's time we learn the name William Donovan Levis. The 33rd overall pick out of Kentucky made his debut on Sunday and put on one of the most impressive rookie performances I've ever seen. Levis racked up 238 yards and four freaking touchdowns. Of course, he had the benefit of having DeAndre Hopkins, who caught three touchdown passes for just the second time in his NFL career. Now, is it too early to start sharpening Levis' name into the starting lineup? I mean, with the trade deadline less than 72 hours away, I'm sure the Titans phones will be buzzing from teams interested in acquiring Ryan Tannehill, who I may add only has two touchdowns in four games a season for Tennessee. If I were that Titans front office, I would be keeping my ears open since it looks like you may have a franchise quarterback on your hands. This game just had a lot of negatives come out of it. The Packers haven't been able to put a game together over the last month, losing four straight. The Vikings, on the other hand, were finally gaining momentum for the playoffs, digging themselves out of a one and three hole and then disaster struck. Kirk Cousins seems to have suffered a torn Achilles, which most likely means that his season is over with. Even with a schedule that has the Falcons, Saints, Broncos, Bears, and the Raiders up next, it's tough to believe that Minnesota can do much with rookie and BYU alum Jaron Hall at the helm. Remember when I suggested that the Titans consider sticking with Will Levis at quarterback? The Vikings could sure use someone like, you know, Ryan Tannehill to keep their playoff hopes alive. Just saying. The 49ers were considered the best defense in football up until a couple of weeks ago. They've now lost three straight games and let Joe Burrow put on an absolute show. Now, I'm not saying the Niners aren't legit, but I'm kind of saying that the Niners aren't legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I crazy? I don't know, but I do know that their defense alone is making this team regress. They literally look like Swiss cheese, and to have Brock Purdy being the one to carry this team is a bit concerning. Steve Wilkes and that defense have a lot of soul searching to do if they want to remain a legit threat in the NFC.